Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's a word problem. It says that Nina is making five curtains and three cushion covers. Okay, she uses two and a half meters of fabric for each curtain and one and one third meters of fabric for each cushion cover. How much fabric does she need altogether? And each meter of fabric costs $38. And how much did Nina spend on the fabric? All right. So what we have is, uh, it looks something like this. If you have a fabric, okay, this is, suppose this is a fabric, then there are actually two dimensions to the fabric. One is the length, okay, and the other one is the width. So this is the length of the fabric, okay, and this is the width of the fabric. Now what's given to you is just one dimension. So you just assume that the dimension that's given to you is the length of the fabric, okay? Because the width of the fabric is usually considered to be constant. So it's generally the length of the fabric that will be given to you, okay? So this two and a half meters and this one and one third meters are the lengths of the fabric, okay? These are both the lengths of the fabric. All right, so let's see what we have, okay? I'm going to get rid of all this here first. Now let's see what we have. So we have Nina who is making five curtains and three cushion covers and for each curtain she uses two and a half meters of fabric and for each cushion cover she uses one and a third meters of fabric. So let's uh, make the model for uh, curtains first. So if this is one unit of curtain, okay, then Nina actually makes five curtains. So we'll draw five such units. Okay, let's copy and paste this. So we have two now, three, four, and five. Okay, and each of these units is two and a half meters long. So this is two and a half meters long. Okay, and these are curtains. So these are curtains. Okay, let's also maybe drop some color. Say we have these red or sort of pinkish colored curtains. And then we have three cushion covers. Okay. So Nina also made three cushion covers. And for each cushion cover, she used one and a third meters of fabric. So since one and one third is smaller than two and a half, I'm going to make it slightly smaller over here. Okay, so this is your or Nina's cushion cover. Okay, one unit of cushion cover. But we know that she made three units. So we just, so we just going to copy and it three times so one two and three okay let's drop some other color here let's say blue okay and also what we do know is each of these units the blue units is one and a third meters okay now how much fabric does she need altogether well that's quite simple altogether she needs five times two and a half meters plus three times one and a third meters so what we have to find out is how much fabric she needs all together, which is this. And from the models here, we can tell straight away that this is equal to two and a half meters times five plus one and a third meters times three. Because she made five units of curtains and three units of the cushion covers. So altogether, it will be two and a half meters times five plus one and a third meters times three. Now, how much is that equal to? Well, let's calculate. Okay, so let's start with the first one, two and a half times five. How do you calculate that? Well, first of all, let's convert this mixed number to an improper fraction because that will make multiplication much, much easier. Okay, so what we're going to do is convert this fraction or this mixed fraction actually to an improper fraction. And for that, we know what we have to do is we have to multiply this to this whole number by this denominator, this two, okay? So two times two plus one, which is the numerator upon two, okay? And that will be times five. Okay, so that's the first one. That's this one over here. And then we have the second one, which is one and one third meters times three. Now, how do you convert one and one thirds to improper fraction? Well, you take this number, this whole number part one, and you multiply it by the denominator. Then you add this one, which is the numerator to it, 
and you put everything upon the same denominator, which is 3. And you know you have to multiply this by 3. Okay, now let's simplify all this. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So this fraction over here, okay, this guy over here is equal to 5 upon 2 times 5. Okay, this 5. Then you have, to this you're going to add, 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So it's 4 upon 3 times this 3, okay. Now let's simplify these two. Well, this cannot be simplified, so you simply put it as 5 times 4. 5 upon 2 times 1. Okay, I'm going to start here now. 5 times 5 is 25 upon 2 times 1 is just 2. And uh, this guy over here, the second one, well, this can be simplified. This 3 and this 3 had cancel out, so all that's left is 4. So you have to add 4 to this improper fraction, which is 25 upon 2. Now, how much is that? Well, this one over here means 4 upon 1. Now, to add these two fractions, we must find the common denominator. Now, the common denominator over here is quite simple. It's 2. So, you convert the fraction 4 upon 1 to something upon 2. And that will give you the numerator as 8. Okay. So, what you do is you have to add 25 to 8. And you put everything upon the same denominator, which is 2. 25 plus 8, you add the numerators. 25 plus 8 is 33 upon 2. Now, 33 upon 2 and all these were in the unit meters. I forgot to write that here. Okay, these are all meters. Meters, meters, meters. This is also meters. Meters, 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 meters. Okay, the units are very important. You must always write the units. So, 33 upon 2 meters. That's how much fabric she will need all together to make 5 curtains and 3 cushion covers. Okay, 33 upon 2 meters is a right answer, but it doesn't make much sense, right? This is an improper fraction. For it to make some sense, I think we must convert this back to a mixed number format. So how about we take this improper fraction, 33 upon 2, and we convert it back to a mixed number so things make more sense, right? So let's do 33 upon 2. Well, 33 upon 2 is simply 33 divided by 2, right? That's what a fraction is, the numerator divided by the denominator, that many meters. So you simply find 33 divided by 2, what that's equal to, and that will give you the mixed number. Okay, now if any of this, uh, the conversions over here from mixed number to improper fraction and from improper fraction to mixed number is not very clear to you, then I uh, recommend that you do go watch some of the videos that I have done previously on uh, concepts. The concepts as they're related to fractions, like conversions of uh, mixed fractions to improper fractions and improper fractions back to mixed numbers. In addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all those as they're related to fractions. Please do go watch those concept videos if things are not very clear to you at this point. And I bet that after that, uh, things will be much clearer to you, okay? Well, for now, what we are going to do is we're going to divide 33 by 2 to change this improper fraction over here to a mixed number format. Okay, so we're going to do 33 divided by 2, and that will give us, let's see what, 1, and you have 2 here, and 1 here, then you bring down the 3, you get 6 here, 12, and you have a remainder of 1. Okay, so this is equal to 16 with a remainder of 1 and the denominator of 2. Okay, so 33 upon 2, this improper fraction is equal to 16 and a half meters in the mixed fraction format or the mixed number format. So the total length of the fabric that she will need to make five curtains and three cushion covers is equal to 16 and a half meters. All right, now what's next? Well, what's next is if each meter of fabric costs $38, then how much did Nina spend on the fabric? Well, let's see, let's make some room over here first. Okay, now what we have is one meter of fabric costs $38. So let's make a model for one meter of fabric. Okay, so let's suppose that this is your fabric and uh, let's fill in some color into it. Let's say pink. And this is one meter in length. Okay, so this is one meter of fabric and it costs $38. So if one meter of fabric costs $38, then how much did Nina spend on the fabric? Well, Nina used 16 and a half meters of fabric. So how much did she pay then for 16 and a half meters? Well, if one unit costs $38, 
then 16 and a half units will obviously cost $38 times 16 and a half, right? So all we do is we multiply 38 by 16 and a half. Now to multiply 38 by 16 and a half, we got to first convert this 16 and a half to an improper fraction, right? So we keep 38 as such, this stays at such, and this 16 and a half is equal to 16 times 2, right? We saw that before in the previous uh, slide that this is 16 times 2 plus 1 upon 2. This is how you convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction, right? So what you have now is $38 times this mixed number in the improper fraction, which is 16 times 2 plus 1 upon 2. Okay, now how much is that equal to? Uh, let's do the calculation here, okay? So that's equal to 38, stays as such, okay? Then you do 16 times 2. 16 times 2 is 32, and 32 plus 1 is 33, and upon 2. Now let's simplify this. We have 38 times 33 upon 2. If you divide both these numbers 38 and 2 by 2 what you get is 1 here and you get 19 here because 2 goes into 38 19 times what you have now is you have 19 times 33 upon 1 well you can skip this one if you want now how much is that equal to 19 times 33 or 33 times 19 well, 19 times 3 is equal to 57, so you have 7 here and 5 carried over. Then 19 times 3 again is 57 plus 5 is equal to 62. Now, if you want to be quick, you can use the calculator as well. All right, so 19 times 33 is equal to $627. So that's how much money she spent on the fabric. So Nina spent $627 on the fabric, and that's your answer to question number B. Well, that's it. That brings us to the end of this word problem, which I hope you understood. And now I hope that you'll go solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes you perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.